Hey everyone and welcome back to some more esports talk. My name is Hunter and thank you so much for tuning in. We have a lot to cover so I'm just going to get right into it. Just yesterday Kotaku released an article about the infamous Cosby suite that would appear frequently at Blizzard events. The article focuses a lot on Alex Afraziabi who was a former WoW developer who was eventually terminated in 2020. We see that during company events Afraziabi would hit on female employees saying that he wanted to marry them, attempting to kiss them, and putting his arms around them. This was in plain view of other male employees including supervisors who had to intervene and pull him off female employees. Afraziabi was so known to engage in harassment of females that his suite was nicknamed the Crosby Suite after alleged rapist Bill Cosby. Quick note, you'll notice that that says the Crosby Suite in the article and that is because in court there was a misspelling but it is in fact the Cosby Suite referring to Bill Cosby. Apparently the Cosby Suite was more than just a nickname or a quick joke. Based on images and comments Afraziabi posted on his Facebook, it was reportedly a booze-filled meeting place where many, including Afraziabi, would pose with an actual portrait of Bill Cosby while smiling. It was also a hot spot for informal networking at BlizzCon, where people looking to make inroads at the company would go to meet and hang out with some of its top designers. Other than the Blizzard president himself, Afraziabi is the only other person directly named in the current lawsuit that is ongoing. We do have pictures that are in this Cosby suite, as well as a screenshot posted by Afraziabi himself back in 2013 in a group chat titled the BlizzCon Cosby Crew. You'll see familiar names like Dave Kosak, Corey Stockton, and Greg Street in that group chat. Where in that same group chat, you see Dave Kosak saying, I am gathering the hot shakes for the cause. Corey Stockton is a current league game designer at Blizzard, and Greg Street was a formal Blizzard dev that's currently working on the new MMO at Riot Games. The album on Facebook contained a picture exclusively dedicated to the amount of alcohol procured for the Cosby suite, and that the album showcases the large framed picture of Cosby. Now, a reminder, Alex Afraziabi has been terminated after an investigation, an internal investigation back in 2020. But the concern here lies that there are so many people that were involved, knew about the Cosby suite and supported it and kind of supported this culture that is the issue. One of those notable names being Greg Street. We see on social media back in the day, Greg Street posted pictures of himself in the Cosby suite, as well as saying there must always be a Cosby suite. After this information was released, Greg Street made a couple of responses saying in that group chat, Dave was talking about his own wife and a friend. It was a joke not intended for a broad audience, but the chat is gross and I completely understand how it looks. I should have said something. He also sent out an email to Riot as well as posted it to social media saying that the suite was a room at BlizzCon that many used as a time to take a break and relax during the convention and that he can genuinely say that I never saw or experienced any of the harassment described in the allegations and if I did, I would have absolutely stepped in. Looking back, I'm embarrassed at the nickname of that room given all that we know now. At the time in 2013, it was nothing more to me than a silly reference to an old flea market portrait. I wasn't even aware of Cosby's reputation until after I left Blizzard and the allegations became more well known and I certainly would not have tweeted about the suite if I thought it was something terrible at the time. And the only thing that I will say in response to that is that a lot of people are calling out the fact that yes, maybe Cosby's allegations and accusations weren't widely public at the time, but his reputation was still known and a lot of people that were involved are using the excuse of, oh, it was just a joke or just something that was going on but even if it was a joke there was definitely still kind of a stigma with that room with the suite that was well known amongst people. In his email, Greg Street also mentions a video that was going around, which was from a 2010 BlizzCon panel in which a fan was asking a panel full of men, including Alan Brack and Alex Afraziabi, whether there's scope for some of World of Warcraft's female characters to be less sexualized. I love what you've guys done with World of Warcraft. I love the fact that you have a lot of very strong female characters. However, I was wondering if we could have some that don't look like they've stepped out of a Victoria's Secrets catalog. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Which catalog would you like them to step out of? Yeah. Could, could you could you see Sylvanas looking any other way? <laughs> right. So we we feel you, and uh, we want to vary our female characters absolutely. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll pick different catalogs. <laughs> hey, uh, Alex, what uh, what catalog is that uh, Torn female coming out of? 
Not, not one you'd read. Yeah. <laughs> sexy, sexy cow business. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Some sort of agricultural. And that brings us to the general point that people are trying to make with this Cosby suite, saying that this was part of the culture. This is something that has been ingrained at Blizzard for quite a long time and in the industry, which is why it relates to this lawsuit and everything that has been going on internally over at Activision Blizzard. Most people are on the same page here, saying that something like the Cosby suite should have never existed, that it is vile and gross and has no place in the industry of gaming or any industry for that matter. We've seen countless examples of the industry mistreating females with one of the more popular ones being Hafu saying that in 2008, there was literally a World of Warcraft team named Gunna Blank Hafu at regionals that qualified for BlizzCon regionals. No, I'm not surprised at the news. I was 17 years old at the time and already qualified for regionals myself. So as all these stories kind of start coming together, you see Hafu saying things, you see countless other women in the industry coming forward with their own stories, stuff about the Cosby suite and how all of this is kind of ingrained in the culture. You start to realize why this is being such a big movement, why this walkout is happening, why the lawsuit is happening and why it is so important for all this to be spoken about. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I think it's absolutely awful. Until next time, guys, be safe, be smart, behave, and I'll catch you later.